Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update April 8th, 2021. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday and this is episode 370. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In today's episode, Netflix picks up Darren Wang's new action movie, Super Me. And does Dilraba's hairstyle in The Long Ballad take away from her beauty? But first, after six days of no new drama premieres, here are a couple of them, and following that, a bunch that are coming up soon. Plot Love is a modern romance drama starring Chen Shuqun and Chen Pingyan, and it premiered yesterday, April 7th. The drama follows a woman who reconciles with her ex-husband in order to find the truth about her auntie's suspicious death. Romance and Mystery, if that sounds like your cup of tea, maybe give it a look. The drama is slated for 24 episodes and is available on Yuku, no English subs at the moment. Love Scenery is a modern romance drama starring Xu Lu and Lin Yi and it premiered earlier today. Lin Yi plays a university student who's also a popular gamer. Little does he know that one of the players he games with is his idol, a singer played by Xu Lu. Love Scenery is based on the novel I'll Trade Everything For You, written by Chao Yao. It is slated for 31 episodes and is available on IQ.com with English subs. And that's it for what's recently premiered. Moving on, here are a bunch of dramas that have recently confirmed their April premiere dates. Voice of Love is a modern romance drama starring Liu Renyu and Dai Qingyao, and they've confirmed an April 9th premiere, that's tomorrow. A Love for Dilemma is a modern family drama starring Candy Song and Tong Da Wei, and they've confirmed an April 11th premiere. The Glory of Youth is a military drama starring Li Yifeng and Cheng Xinxu, and they've confirmed an April 13th premiere. Mysterious Love is a modern suspense drama starring Cao Yuning and Yu Yue, and they've confirmed an April 15th premiere. So much love going around. Of the six dramas that I've mentioned, the two that recently premiered and the four that are coming up, all of them, with the exception of The Glory of Youth, have the word love in their titles. No doubt, love and romance sells in drama land. And moving on, we take a look at a couple of dramas that have recently started filming. Guardians of the Lands is an upcoming fantasy drama starring Chen Xinxu and Chen Muchi, and they started filming on March 28th. Here are the two stars holding fans at the booting ceremony. And here they are performing one of the customs at a booting ceremony, the unveiling of the camera. Their ceremony was very low-key in the sense that there was no official announcement. Their Weibo page is also bare at the moment. Guardians of the Lands follows a former secret agent who, while in pursuit of drug traffickers, finds himself stranded on a small town in the mountains. The drama is adapted from another boy's love novel by Priest. Priest also authored novels that were adapted into Legend of Fei and Word of Honor. Chen Xingxu's most memorable drama for me so far is 2019's Goodbye My Princess, in which he starred with Peng Xiaoran. It was one that didn't have the happiest of endings though. This will be Chen Muchi's first ever drama, and what a drama debut for someone who's pretty much brand new to the industry, a starring role in a priest adaptation. It's the stuff of dreams for any aspiring drama actor. More updates on Guardians of the Lands as they provide them. Fei Hu Wai Zhuan, literally translated as The Unofficial Biography of Flying Fox, is an upcoming wuxia drama starring Qin Junjie and Liang Jie, and they started filming on March 27th. Here are the two stars at the booting ceremony, Qin Junjie in costume, Liang Jie in good spirits. The drama is described as a prequel to Flying Fox on Snowy Mountain. Flying Fox on Snowy Mountain is a wuxia novel written by the late great Louis Cha and has been adapted into many dramas in the past. Qing Junjie's last drama to air was 2019's Never Say Never, but I think he was most impressive in the same year's Listening Snow Tower, which he starred with Crystal Yuan. Liang Jie's last drama to air was last year's Mr. Honesty, but arguably she's most famous for her role opposite Xing Zhao Ling in the Eternal Love series. 
I'm a fan of Lewis Chan novels and some of their big and small screen adaptations. Not all of them, but a few of them I found entertaining. So I am looking forward to the unofficial biography of Flying Fox. More updates on the drama as they provide them. And next up, I only do movie updates once in a while, and today is one of those days. Here's a piece involving Darren Wong. Super Me is an action movie starring Darren Wong and Candy Song, and it hits theaters in China on April 9th. Additionally, Netflix has also picked it up for distribution. At the moment, they haven't yet announced a release date. The film actually made its premiere on the festival circuit in 2019, but its theatrical release was delayed until now. Super Me follows Darren Wang's character, a stressed out scriptwriter who one day discovers that he has the superpower of being able to bring objects from his dreams into reality. Darren Wang won many fans in Dramaland with his starring role in The Wolf. Interest in him is up, and we'll get to see him in a new movie soon. Netflix doesn't stream in China, but in recent months, they've licensed a few Chinese titles like The Yin Yang Master and Dream of Eternity. Hopefully they keep it up, so international audiences will have more access to English sub Chinese movies online. And moving on, here's some celebrity news, beginning with Del Raba. Does Del Raba's hairstyle in The Long Ballad take away from her beauty? The Long Ballad starring Del Raba and Leo Wu premiered on March 31st and has been very well received so far. I myself am on episode 10 and thoroughly enjoying it. I think so far Del Raba is doing a terrific job and the scenes she has with Leo Wu are playful and romantic yet revealing and most importantly they don't drag on. After the first few episodes aired, some viewers brought up the topic of her hairstyle, specifically the two strands that come down the right and left of her face. Some fans are saying that it's unnecessary and takes away from her beauty. That has started somewhat of an online debate on the issue. Now if you look at the comic illustrations, there obviously are two strands there, so in that sense production was staying true to the comic. And here's a side-to-side -side comparison of the character, in drama and in comic. To be completely honest, the first time I saw Del Raba with that hairstyle, I did find it a little bit out of place or distracting. Among my family and friends who watched the show as well, some of them felt the same way. But I eventually got used to it. I don't find it distracting anymore. And I also have to say that if it's in the interest of staying true to the source material, then I'm all for it. What do you guys think? Zhang Han opens up about love. Do we go with emotions or rationale? Zhang Han had a couple of dramas premiere recently, Sunshine of My Life and One Boat One World, so he's been somewhat trending. He appeared on a recent episode of the Chinese variety TV show Beginner in the Workplace and while on the show opened up about love. He said, in many things, there are no second chances. If you missed it, it's gone. When it comes to marriage, do we go with emotions or rationale? Do we look for someone who's just suitable or someone who moves our hearts? He explained that he once asked himself if he could forego the heart and just go with someone who was suitable for marriage, but ultimately he could not accept that. With that, some netizens started speculating as to who he was referring to as the one he missed, who was the one who got away. Some of his high-profile girlfriends in the past include Zheng Shuang, who he dated for 5 years, and Guli Naja, who he dated for 3. It's an interesting question though, do we look for someone who's suitable, or someone who moves us? I think it has to be a good mix of both. Being with someone you're crazy about but who's just not suitable for you, for example, if he or she's already married, is more likely than not gonna have a bad ending. Same thing with someone who's very suitable for you but who just doesn't float your boat. And on that note, it's Thursday today so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the top 10 Chinese dramas and actors at the moment. In this segment, I will give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. My prediction for this Sunday's top web drama is You Are My Hero, starring Sandra Ma and Bai Jingting. 
I picked the long ballad last week and got it wrong, so I'm jumping ship to You Are My Hero. I think it'll be a tight race between the two dramas, and I'm really enjoying watching them both. My prediction for this Sunday's top TV drama is Hand in Hand starring Liu Tao and Li Guangjie. Hand in Hand came in champion last edition and I think it'll stay champ for a second one. And my prediction for this Sunday's top drama actor is Xiao Chan. I'm picking Xiao Chan to stay champion for a 10th edition in a row, but this time I'm not as certain as I usually am. I think Dil Raba might give him a good run for his money. And that does it for this episode. If you want to check out the t-shirt or other Chinese drama merchandise, there's a link to it in the description below. And this show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps and shoutouts. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers!